hey buddy so you as a c sharp programmer as a dot and developer who is using visual studio never worry about which platform you need to target you need to choose x86 x64 or any cpu now question is if we don't need to worry about if our program still works without worrying about these target platform then why we need to know this right why microsoft has put this option are they insane i don't think so they are insane right if microsoft has put some option within visual studio there must be some purpose so what purpose these are filling these three different options are filling right and you know the thing is we actually not reached up to that level of coding where we need to worry about right so we will talk about that level of coding where actually you should start worrying about the target platform right so let's dig into the code and try to understand all these concept and we will also understand why 8086 is called x86 right so let's go and jump into the code and we will talk about all these concepts okay so here we are in the visual studio and these five lines of code is going to help us to understand this whole concept so you know these are the target platform from within visual studio you choose any cpu x64 and x86 right normally you know when you create a new project these days what a microsoft does they know that you know that the kind of programming we do we really don't care about what target platform we are choosing so if i can show you a new project this is my new project that i have created right it is just empty project if you can see right and if you look at this there is no other option other than any cpu so that means you know even microsoft don't care about what target platform you are choosing they know you know the mostly code that we are going to write that would be any cpu because we don't need to worry about right so here let's talk about x86 so if you remember in your college time you must have read about processor called 8086 that denote x86 now right when you choose x86 that means you are coding this whole code for 32 bit operating system now x64 when you choose x64 here that means you are making a code for 64 bit operating system right now there is a very possibility that you know some code which is written for 34 if you choose s64 code may not work or you face unexpected exception the chances are very less but yes there are chance right now why x86 is 32 bit operating system and x64 is 64 bit operating system so x86 8086 processor was came very you know first than x64 it was very old right at that time this processor was targeting 32 bit operating system or 32 bit right so this was their name and you know a new company launched in the market they have you know just simplified that they are going to support 64 bit operating system hence they will name it x64 they don't want to make any confusion right since this was old it was kept as x86 not x34 right so that means they are you know basically talking about the pointer size if you look at this line of code int pointer size right the size of the pointer in x86 is 32 bit in x64 is 64 bit so i'm going to run this application and we will try to understand this whole code let's see you know the first lines tell me that which process architecture this code is built for that will choose from this right second line of code this you know this 22 line the second line will tell me that you know which operating system i am using i am using 64 bit or 32 bit so i am saying environment dot is a 64 bit operating system if i am using 64 bit it will tell me yes that means boolean true if no some other operating system like 32 bit then it will say false right and then you know the size of uh, the process architecture right if it is x86 it should be 32 bit if it is 64 it should be a uh, 64 bit so what i'm going to do i will go with x86 first so let's try to hit this button and now we will see come on uh yeah, here you go the architecture that i am targeting x86 as i have chosen here what operating system i am using 64 bit they are saying yes i am using 
64 bit operating system my windows that installed on this machine is 64 bit now since it was x86 the size of the pointer is 32 bit right now let me close it and what i will do i will choose x64 i will run it and i will see the difference here you go so see architecture that we have chosen that is x64 which is here right uh i'm using 64 operating system yes that is always going to true now you see the size of the pointer is changed before 8086 was for 32 bit now it is x64 so it is 64 bit right now what what if i choose any cpu let me choose any cpu right what it will do so the interesting thing about any cpu is you don't need to decide what operating system you are going to target x86 or x64 you leave that up to runtime right you just compile your code by choosing target platform any cpu because you know you don't know the code that you are writing on which operating system it is going to deploy it is it going to be 32 bit or 64 bit so in that case you just go and target any cpu because you don't have any information right and when you hit that at the runtime the il then the intermediate language convert your dls your whole code into that assembly language that you know understood by either 32 bit or 64 bit on the basis of operating system where this code is going to run now you know i have chosen any cpu right and my machine is 64 bit operating system so let's see the magic now i'm going to hit this and the expected result here you go see architecture is x64 though it was any cpu the reason was i am using 64 bit operating system since it was 64 bit operating system the size of the pointer is 64 bit now you know what where you need to choose x64 versus x86 well x86 let me tell you one difference if you are writing you know uh, a normal application you know where you don't need a lot of memory right or uh, maybe less than 4 gb of uh, ram you can write down your code within x86 it will work but if you're writing a code some video processing like youtube right or image processing where you know you need a lot of memory to execute those to, to process those you should go for x64 right so for lightweight work where you don't need a lot of processing you are good to write code x86 if you know you need high performance uh, video processing image processing at that time you, you can go with x64 now you know sometime uh, we may think if you know x64 can handle that kind of uh, memory why not to write code in x64 instead of x86 so you know what let me tell you one example let's say you have two car one car having you know five seat second car seven seater right five seater car consume less fuel and you know that save cost now you guys your family needs to go to a event where you know five people needs to attend that event so what you will do are you going to choose a seven seater or five seater because you know there are five members and if you choose the five seater car it will consume less fuel and it will save a lot of money right so why you will go for seven seater car right so same here if you know about your programming your business logic your code you will write down that specific thing in that specific format as per the need the kind of application you are writing high processing go for 64 not that much high processing or uh, you know where you need more than 4 gb of memory then go for x86 right now the thing is you know sometime you really don't care about the high processing or the low processing you just write on your business logic and you know you just go away now even even you don't need a high processing even you don't need the low processing but still you need to work with either x86 and x64 what would be that use case so when you directly deal with the assemblies let's say you have to write down the code specifically for 32 bit operating system that means you are dealing with some core functions of 32 bit operating system at that time you have to be very specific the code that you are writing that needs to be specific for 32 bit operating system 
if you you know choose the target platform at that time 64 it may not work right you may face unexpected exception that is for you know there are chances very high for example if i can show you some code uh some over here you see uh i'm dealing with dlr import right where i'm saying that i need to import a dll which target kernel 32 dot dll right if you're writing code for 32 bit operating system you cannot choose x64 here otherwise your code is going to crash right when it will be deployed on 32 bit and the only reason is you are dealing with you know uh you are dealing with you know the core functions of that 32 bit operating system and i have some more code like this right over here again you are importing 32 dll right so if you are dealing with you know the core functions of that operating system that is very specific to 32 bit or 64 bit you have to make sure the the kind of platform you choose that needs to be very specific okay so that's all for today video i will see you in the next video